and welcome back so finally there finally working on what this kit is all about this is me starting to work on the right wing now most people will start with the left wing just because that's what the instructions talk to but the last spar that I had done any work on was the right spar putting all the um, nut plates and countersinking and all that kind of thing and it stayed on my stand so I figured I'd start with that instead of taking it off and putting the left spar in place to start on the left wing so first thing it has you do is take a uh, take these pieces I'm working here and cut them uh, and separate them and these are the uh, doublers for the flap joints or the flap uh, pieces uh, where the flaps will hang off of and uh, so essentially you have the rib then the large uh, piece of metal that's where the flaps will attach to and then this doubler on the other side of it so once you get that all prepped then you start working on ribs and there's quite a bit of work to do uh, so I've actually cut out most of the monotonous stuff of doing all the prep work for the ribs but there's 14 ribs per wing and uh, it's a lot of a lot of deburring and things like that so you've seen it before didn't want to bore you so just kind of showing roughly what I did on each rib um, here and then uh, going to be showing here in just a bit the the finishing part so essentially just like you like you do on anything else get rid of the rough edges uh, file everything down get rid of the burrs in the holes uh, and the lightning holes uh, then the instructions have you uh, look at all the flanges and make sure that they're close to 90 degrees um, and then other than that you'll go through and flute the ribs to make sure that they're as straight as can be and then you're on to the next steps so like I said it's a, a bunch of monotonous stuff and you've seen it before so I end up cutting out a lot of of the work um, so you'll see here in just a minute where it'll cut to the to uh, some time in the future and there'll be a whole stack of ribs so as you can see there on the far end of the table uh, th those are the ribs that I have completed um, and uh, this is showing some of the steps of again taking a right angle and verifying the angle of the flanges and then you take that tool that you just saw me use it's uh, a flat uh, flat piece that you can use to fold or, or manipulate the flanges to make them uh, straight and then you uh, take the fluting tool and, and make sure the ribs are as straight as you can and then the instructions have you go through and uh, final size 40 all the holes on the bottom and top flanges and just get it ready for uh, putting on the skins at some point obviously and then the uh, next thing that has you do is uh, dimple only the bottom skin side of the ribs I'm not exactly sure why you don't go ahead and uh, dimple the top uh, the top flange I'll find out soon enough I'm sure but it's uh, it specifies just doing the bottom end and that's what I did and then, like I said this is me starting to do the dimpling now I'm using the uh, substructure dimple here so it's just a little bit deeper uh, I, I want to say it's like one or two thousandths deeper than the standard die but it's supposed to make it so the skins will sit a little bit better inside those dimples when you go to put the skins on and I used it on a good portion of the empennage and it seemed to do pretty well it seemed that the skins actually sat in there pretty nicely so figured I'd keep doing it um, I figured it doesn't hurt to, to try it and to use it so that's what I did In this device here the pieces I'm getting these are for the uh, I want to say it's the aileron actuator um, this is on the most inboard rib and uh, again you have to separate some pieces um, and then this has a um, it has a bearing that lines up with the Ford attach bracket on the fuel tank and like I said if I recall correctly uh, it's the 
uh, aileron actuator uh, uh, piece uh, or, or support piece. So, so far I've uh, been working a lot on the airplane at night. It's still warm here in Phoenix, uh, typically about 105 or so during the day. And uh, being that I'm working out of my garage, it means it's about 120 degrees in there. So I end up working at night a lot and uh, I've had the last few days off. So I've been able to work throughout the majority of the night. I'm uh, on a night shift schedule for work these the, uh, this last weekend and this coming weekend. So I figured I'd stay on a night schedule. But it makes it easy because I can put in eight hours of work on the uh, on the airplane and get, get quite a bit accomplished. So that's what I've done over the last couple nights. And I've actually got the right wing uh, ribs and everything done and the, everything attached and riveted to the spar, uh, which you'll see over the next couple videos. And I'm actually ready to start working on the uh the rear spar and there's some doublers and things that are involved with that so i'll probably start working on that tonight and uh probably have a good amount of progress done on that so you see that large stack of ribs there in a moment you'll see me messing with the uh actuator bracket that i've been assembling trying to attach it into the number one rib and it just won't fit and that's when i realized that i didn't pull all of the right uh, ribs. Uh, I made the assumption that the right wing would be all of the ribs labeled R and uh, that's simply not the case. So make sure that when you're starting this project on this chapter that you look at the uh, diagrams in the front that show you all the actual parts and that you pull the actual correct parts. And with that I'm going to let this run out. Again I appreciate those that consider, continue to watch these. If you haven't already hit that like button for me. Also, if you get a chance, hit that subscribe button. You'll be able to see these videos as I create them and follow along as I make this RV-14 and put it together. So again, I appreciate you all watching and we'll see you next time around. Why is it so short? Because <laughs> it's only part of it.